is there anything in the world more frustrating than when you drive somewhere and you want like a coffee or a bit of a snack for breakfast and then you think oh I don't really want it yet I'll wait and then you never pass another shop to wherever you're getting that's the current situation so I'm hoping it's going to be some coffee and stuff here but the chances are probably slim massive rookie era for the amount of driving I do anyway we are at Blighton Park which is like a little private uh, race track, test track more so I think more base for cars in Lincolnshire if I'm right, yeah it has to be Lincolnshire because everything's flat here crop fields Look. Um, yeah we're in Blighton Park and we are going to test a factory built RC45 that we're hopefully going to use at the Classic TT and also uh, John Davies 500 Yamaha that I'm going to ride at the Classic TT so two really interesting bikes and I'm going to give you a fun run a fun full rundown on both of them and uh, what the situation is and what's happening today and what the plans are going forward so stay tuned for all of that action I'm still asleep you know a little bit well and it's it's 10 to 8 I shouldn't be but is what it is but um yeah, looking forward to getting a run out on these two bikes. But firstly, I'm going to go and try and get a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a cup of something to uh, wake me up with. You can only use proper rest fuel. What, are you, what have you been doing for the last couple of weeks, Neil? A couple of weeks? Since TT and stuff. I've done all sorts of stuff, mate. Well, you were back on say, weren't you, for a week? Yeah. yeah. How come, uh, how come a super stock bikes here, Neil? Because you asked me to bring it away. <laughs> I would tell I, these people. Otherwise, why else would I ever ride? <laughs> I was going to bring the other, both of them. So yeah. Come on, Shell, but. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, I brought it because it's for sale. Well, both bikes are for sale. Mine and Damon's bike, the super stock bikes. But there's a guy actually coming. What the hell's wrong with the audio record level? Oh, um, there's a guy coming to look at buying switches. That's my bike from the TT, and just behind it, I don't know if Christy can zoom in. Oh, how long? Um, if Christy can zoom in is my factory RC45, and this is my factory RC45 mechanic. What time? We're here till the dinner time. Right. Well, you is Mr. Reed coming? I think so. Yes. Phone's ringing. Oh, don't we about that? He never answers his um, phone. I don't answer my phone. It only be Phil. <laughs> um, I don't know about taking the suspension out of it. I mean, I can do that today, if only yeah. out today. But out of, whether, taking the suspension going, out of what? That, I thought he was getting it serviced. Oh, right, yeah. Shocking the phone. Oh, but how, are you, how are you going to transport the bike if it's suspension out of it? Why, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm going with Damar. I don't just work for you, I work for... Oh, swapping riders are you, Neil? Oh, I've got to go with him because I'm on the books, aren't I? Oh. Well, I'm not on the books, but I'm getting paid. <sighs> got no loyalty, this man. Oh, no. As soon as there's a wave or five, or he jumps you. Oh, what are we doing today, then, Neil? You're we're going to do some big wheelies on this RC45. No, no wheelies at all. What? No wheelies. Why? We just need to make sure she's running fine, the engine, and that's it. Oh, f*** that. We no, need to do some wheelies. No, no wheelies. You won't do wheelies on that, it weighs a blinking, weighs three tonne. So if we go over to this bike, Neil, will you give me like a, sh a walk around and explain all the parts and everything? Absolutely yeah? not. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Remind you how to call them. <laughs> That'll be quite amusing, won't it? <laughs> what? Who's interrupting you, Neil? Being interrupted by a guy, Martin. Uh, he's not as big a deal as you now, mate. Not you're on the YouTube type. We'll not, even, we'll not even get him on today, Neil, because he's not nowhere near in your league even. Uh, yeah, so what, what's the factory parts on this bike? She's got Olin's forks in her. She's got Olin's forks. Yeah. Olin's rear shock. They're about 35 year old, but factory. It's your factory bike, factory chassis number. The factory chassis, well, there might be a problem with that chassis. What have they opened them bikes up till 96? Yeah. That's actually got stamped on the frame, you won't believe it. Neil, so I can't put this on the TV. I'll put that on. So I'll cut this bit so out. I might have to, might have to uh, grind it off. Oh, 
fucking grand it off. It's a fucking RC45. They're all the same, aren't they? Yeah. They're not changing. We don't cheat. We don't cheat, do we, Neil? Yeah. So, right, yeah. I'm gonna get my ass actually out of the van. Have you got any food with you? No, nothing. Oh, Neil. I'm hoping that Kathy's gonna be on. Hold on, look, look, I've got you three. I thought your missus was baking us a cake. She's too busy, isn't she? Jabby, 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 yeah. he's on the boat. Yeah. <laughs> he knows all the names, they all come out. Give me a hand to get changed here. Sure. No. Oh, wow. Straight away. Yeah. 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 I've actually brought my GoPro with me today, so I'm gonna somehow try and mount it on the bike and get a little bit of onboard footage. I think I'm gonna try and put it so you can like see the rev counter and stuff, because that's sort of like the the view that people like to get. I think I'd like to be fit to ask you, and you answer me right now, but. I'll try and get it on there. If I can get two on, I'll put two on. If not, it's gonna be on there. All right, so leather's on. I'm now gonna get my first first go on this RC45. I'm actually a little bit excited. Look at the weather. It's absolutely baking hot. It's 20 something degrees. Do you know how to start it, Neil, or do you need me to show you how to do that? Or? Neil, you can't do that on the camera. You're gonna give us a full run through of the spec. Are you gonna put your helmet on? Alright, are we ready? Oh, we've got a GoPro mount on and everything. Put your, oh, uh, there as well. Are you gonna put your specs on for this ride? I'm gonna, Neil, don't take this. You I don't slag I don't slag you off about being fat, do I? So, don't be rude. <laughs> I'm a mother, I am fat. You just keep buying bigger and bigger t-shirts, don't you? We'll, we'll go with this run, and then we'll put a camera on for the next one in case she doesn't make it round. Better ask Phil Green, it's not my yeah. bike, the camera. I haven't had any more off cold. Yeah, it's cold bike. 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 What do you do then? Switch the ECU off so it can't start. <laughs> right, we're going to go for a spin. <laughs> Let's have a first go. <laughs> it's absolutely fucking mid. Oh man. I wish I was born in the time when these were classed as superbikes. It's so friendly and so nice to ride. Not got 200 and bloody 25 horsepower or whatever. The fuck you have now. Yeah. First few laps. So enjoyable. I'll, uh, I'm going to put the camera on for the next session. So you guys can... Um, Put the camera on for the next session so you guys can come along for the spin. See if we can get a bit of the enjoyment. Oh, it sounds so nice.
seems to have stopped. So I'm going to try and freewheel as far as I can. See if we can get back to the pit. This is not working out too well. First time I put the bloody camera on. Use a lot of jinxment. the chances of Neil coming out to push me back is bloody slim I'd say I can see him starting on the bank over there looking at me ah oh, there's a van coming Let's see if I can tip this off there's a van coming to get me I wonder what's wrong. I hope I haven't broke it. I'd be well pissed off. I've literally done one session. I didn't want to put the camera on until I got used to riding around the track. And then uh, now I put the camera on and it stopped. Hi mate. Stop Stop just. Sorry? Stop. I just, just stopped it. Yeah. Uh, do we need, is it best to bring the van up to put it in? You think you can give me, a, if you pull alongside me, I'll hold on and we can just push it back. Put your window down. Okay, yeah? I'll put this one down, it, that's it. Uh, the other side. Yeah. Go on, Ed, it. Be good, be good. Let's start it now and see if it's sound rattling. I know there's some checker plate in the belly pan, I thought it was just that one. It was noisy when you set off. No, I'm not going to start it, I'll let Cole start it. Broken. Literally, the first time I got the camera out to try and do an onboard and the fucking thing stopped. The jinx of the YouTube. I'm not going to try and start it. No, the other year. What are you going to I don't know. What sound is it? What sound is it? That sounds more rattly than an acid for it. Yeah. yeah. It always sounds. Oh, so it literally got down the back straight and it was like, uh, like tight. And then I turned left and I went, a little bit of a rattle and just stopped it there. What's happening now, Neil? <laughs> what are you going to do now then, Neil? What am I going to do? Are you going to fix my bike? Why are you pointing the camera at me, Lee? Are you going to fix my bike? <laughs> I think you forgot to tighten something. Do you think so? What? Yeah. What have I forgot? Like a cam. <laughs> <laughs> or a valve. <laughs> you forgot to tighten a valve, maybe? I've not touched that engine, mate. It's nothing to do with me. Has he been fiddling with it, Cole? I can't touch those. <laughs> I'll leave you alone for one week and you break me back. I'm being in our workshop. Oh, so you're blaming Carl now? I'm not blaming anybody. <laughs> right, I'm going to go over now and look at my other bike that is actually running. <laughs> not this factory piece of scrap. Oh, Neil's I'm broke. Neil down. Neil's down. broke. Engine in bits. See get what's up with this. See what we're going to do out. If not, we'll probably have to run my bike. I'm going to get a proper mechanic there. My bike's a different spec again. Yeah? It's a solid bit. I made it arrow. Oof. Don't have the on. Don't put no, we'll cut that, cut that bit out, Christy. We're not allowed to talk about that on there. No. <laughs>
it's made at Arrow, the crank. The rods are made at Arrow. It's Cosworth Pistons. Six grand worth of titanium valve. Have you got Brembo pads as well? It's got the vibe. Phil's, Phil's bike ended up with one of it. Is that all the stuff we're supposed to be in my bike, Neil? We've figured out. We've figured out the problem. He's put all the old uh, scrap bits in my bike. He's done us, Neil, hasn't he? What do you call them? I'll tell you what. EBC added. He's done us. He's put Lego brake pads in. Plastic. Plastic valves. Right. Let's go look at this real bike. Go and have a look. That's that's running. So this other bike now is a 500 Yamaha that I'm going to ride at the Classic TT as well. But we were actually coming here to test. Um, and then the, we brought the RC5 on the back of it, so this is it. Well, I'll look, this is not my one. That's my one. But this is like a sister bike that uh, Dom's going to ride this one, isn't he? He is, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not, he's not going to be number 20, though. He's going to be number 7. Yeah? That's all right. Olin's forks, Olin's shock. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> it's absolutely... No, it's got, it's got a proper K-Tech in it. It's absolutely beautiful. All this stuff's obviously bought in a shop. He doesn't make any of it. It's amazing. So... We're going to get out on this now because the 45 has stopped wanting to play ball. They're just making some changes from when we were out earlier on. Ready to rip now. I won't let him out on it anymore, Colin. I've just had a look at the temperature yeah. again. What's he going to do, John? He's blowing them up today. You can buy one of these all you want, John, but you'll knock it. You can put a rider like this on her, will you? <laughs> <laughs> There's only really one Johnson. You drive for me. He likes the other Johnson. You drive for me. Not the real Johnson, he wants, he wants Gary Johnson, spelt yeah. yeah. Spelt, he doesn't even have it spelled no. right around no. when, the, when we go to the Classic TT, it's going to have big, uh, you know, like megaphone pipes on it. So it's nice and quiet today and then normally you get there and you can't even hear your own thoughts in your head, never mind what the bikes do. And you see all these old boys down listening to the engine and <laughs> the thing's absolutely... Oh, that's why they're all deaf. Hey John, that'd be a good football team for you to support there, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just eat John, <laughs> UK.
Yeah, he's gone now, has it? Uh, yeah. It turns no better like that, but it doesn't really affect it. Doesn't change that. No. Okay. Before it, before it was just like walking through, and not yeah. actually turning. Yeah. It likes the big gear as well, because of the torque. It like yeah. pulls yeah. it really well. It was 110, 11 there. It wasn't as hot as before. No. Okay. Well, I put a little dump on. Oh yeah, it was going down 10, 10 degrees then, because it was 20 before, wasn't it? The front, front brake hasn't changed anymore now, do you know the way it moves? I said and it's, yeah. it's stayed there. Doesn't I just it? made it a fraction harder. There's oh, only right. half a turn of adjustment yeah. in it then. And that's... Yeah. Right, that's me oh, back in the van, day done, trying to get the aircon on. Currently 25 degrees, absolutely bliss. That's me done. Um, a little bit frustrating. More so, it <laughs> sounds pathetic, I'm frustrated that I got out for a session on the 45 and didn't put the GoPro on for you guys because I could have got some nice laps, but I can say that's life. Uh, really annoyed that the bike broke, but obviously like Colin that said, there's another engine and stuff for it at the workshop, so they're going to go back, get that fixed, see what the problem is and see what's actually happened. It's, it's frustrating because um, with these older bikes, they don't have telemetry or anything, so in my race bike, you'd be fit to tell what that was, but... Um, yeah, thanks to Phil for letting me ride that. Mainly though, thanks to Colin Davies and John, who's 500 Yamaha, I'm gonna ride at the Classic TT. Uh, the bike feels really, really good. Um, it's a while since I've ridden a Classic bike, but it, it feels better than what I remember, so that's a good sign. You normally get on them, and because they don't stop well or go that well, you think, oh, it's a bit crap, but um, honestly, that felt really good, so that's a good sign. So the next time I'm going to get on that when I will be the classic TT. Uh, I'm going to try and get out on the 45 again before before the classic TT, obviously to try and check them things out. So if that does happen, I'll try and get some footage then. And uh, might even just chuck up a, a bit of an onboard lap of wherever we go for you guys just to watch some onboard stuff. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and there's going to be more videos soon.